Looking at how attraction works in the animal kingdom provides a valuable evolutionary context and can highlight some fundamental principles that may also underlie human attraction, even if they manifest in different ways. One of the first things to consider is the incredible diversity of mating systems we see in the animal world. You have monogamy, okay, where pairs like swans and gibbons form lifelong bonds, often because raising offspring requires the dedicated effort of both parents. So in some species, it's a very practical partnership driven by the needs of reproduction. Indeed. Then you have polygamy, like in lion prides, where a dominant male typically meets with multiple females within the group. And on the other end of the spectrum, you have promiscuity, such as in bonobos, where frequent and often casual mating plays a significant role in establishing and maintaining social bonds within the community. Wow, that's a very different dynamic than what we observe in human societies. It is. And it serves as a reminder that our often held ideals of strict monogamy, while culturally significant in many human societies, are actually not the most common mating system across the vast majority of mammal species. In fact, only a relatively small percentage, around 3 to 5% of mammal species, are considered to be truly monogamous. Wow, it's a really low number. Yeah. Okay, what about the elaborate rituals we often see in animals? You know, those complex courtship dances, like colorful displays. Yeah. What's the evolutionary purpose behind all that? Those courtship behaviors are largely driven by the principle of sexual selection. 